There was once a boy who traveled the river by way of a basket, and grew to become the select conduit and transcriber of God himself. We know him as Moses, the author of the Torah, also known as the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible. And in hundreds of scriptural instances, God spoke directly to him, issuing an inordinate amount of decrees, rules, laws, and commandments. A simple logical deduction gives us two choices. A, the God of the universe indeed dictated every word to Moses, as the Bible clearly states, or B, no, no God gave any of it to Moses. In fact, thankfully for the character of Moses, he likely never existed. But let's put this into perspective. Today, if one were given the stage that Moses had, or better yet, came down off a mountain, and begin decreeing God had spoken directly to he or she in regards to blood, rituals, semen, testicles, menstruation cycles, shellfish, cloven hooves, fabrics you cannot mix, slaughtering of animals, and where to sprinkle their blood. And I'll kindly stop there, though I've barely begun. 